what's up everybody so we are back out at the property today to check on the house and i got a chainsaw for my birthday and we've had this huge pile of wood stacked up over there and so finally going to get started on that to start chopping this firewood up so anyway we're going to check on things they looks like they have finished up drywall or she, excuse me, sheetrock texture. So I'm walking in here in the utility room, all the ceiling's done. We did decide to go ahead and do the skip trowel on the ceiling and then the imperfect smooth on the walls. It is so hot in here. They've got this heater running and it's so muggy. Like my camera keeps fogging up and it's really hot in here. So they did not texture the ceiling in here because we're doing our tongue and groove, um, the wood ceiling in this great room. And if you didn't see it already while I was talking, they finished up our parking areas. So we've got this little gravel um, pathway right here in front of that door. And then they built up, or they did some gravel down here to make this little driveway and then built up this area at the top for a little parking area. So that way we've got something somewhat level and smoothed out and compacted down to connect with the driveway as we come in, in here. Oh, and the other thing, we have had, there's some sort of underground creek or something. I don't know how far down, but they discovered some water and moisture down in the basement or in the crawl space underneath the apartment. So they think it's an underground spring that is coming from somewhere. So what we had to do is dig a trench. I think they started it from back here. Dig down about a six foot trench and there's actually still a little bit of water right here, but they dig this trench, fill it with gravel and cover it back up. And then it runs down the mountain and out down the mountainside that will hopefully keep that water or if there is a spring under there, move that water to come this way instead of going underneath the house so it doesn't cause mold. So I'm glad they found that now versus later down the road. That was another $1,200 hit right there, but definitely necessary. The apartment's done with the texture too, so she decided to go with the orange pill. You probably can't see it on camera, but it looks good. Hey everybody, so we're walking through the house. They've got the entire inside painted and it looks so good. It's very white. <laughs> um, we basically just wanted to have a blank canvas when we moved in. Um, so we just went with white walls. The actual color is called Snowbound. It is a Sherwin-Williams paint. I love the name. Like we're, <laughs> we always go for like cool names and numbers on things it seems like and it's never failed us. We just wanted a blank canvas when we moved in to get I don't know, just get a really good feel for the house, let the house kind of speak to us of how we want to decorate, and we can always like come back and do, you know, some pop colors or something like that later. Let's see if you can kind of see the, oh, there we go. There's some of the texture. To me, it kind of reminds me of like looking at like rock, like a smooth rock, and then you have like the little imperfections in it. Anyway, that's why I like this texture. I'm. Well, it has been a very, very long journey, but we are finally in the final stages of this build. We are officially started in all of the finishing details of everything, so we're getting there. We um, do have some more delays, um, mainly supply shortages has caused a lot of back orders and delays on stuff, so our build has now been pushed back again. So. Now we're looking at like the second week of February um, to be done, which I'm sure by the time it's all said and done will probably be March. But anyway, this is going to be the last video before the final reveal of all the finishing touches. One of the things they've done this week is started installing all of the light switches and we've gotten some of our light bulbs, can lights installed. The, like, the trim kit for the can lights are on back order and all of the bulbs aren't installed yet, but they do have a start on those that they did this week. So we went with these types of switches and we got dimmers in a lot of the rooms. I'm gonna need a map to learn how to work all these switches. There's so many. And they've also gotten some outlets installed. 
right, we also got the exhaust fan installed here in the laundry room. So we got another update on our staircase. Um, originally, we were going to be doing the staircase down to the side, but Dave had a really good point that when we're in the house or even from out here, if we went to the side, we'd have the railing going straight across here that would kind of obstruct that view when you're looking out the windows. So what we did instead, we're bringing the staircase down in the front and we decided to go really wide with it. I think it's about, I wanna say seven feet. So the staircase is basically gonna to come to the width or be the width of the outside of those two windows. So now the railing, when you come down, is gonna be on the outside so you won't have any obstruction of your view. Also this week, uh, just a couple days ago, they've gotten all of our concrete pads poured. So here's the landing pad for the front steps. And we've gotten all of our decking materials delivered. So now you can see a little bit better from the last video, but here's all of our decking. Um, it's called clamshell. This is Trex decking, very, very durable. This deck will last us hopefully forever, <laughs> or at least a very long time, but they should. Okay, I got a little project I'm working on. So we've been collecting some rock or some moss from, I, I saw some on a hike the other day. So I, I got some moss and it'll, you know, cover and spread and cover stuff. So I'm going to be putting some moss around like the little cracks and crevices in the boulder wall. So the moss can kind of grow around it. Check it out. <laughs> Don't look at my nails, they look terrible. Um, but it's so soft and fluffy and it just looks so cool when moss is growing over rocks and stuff. So we're gonna put some of this on the boulder retaining walls. There's one more thing to show you guys what was done this week. Um, by the way, it is December 3rd. Um, all of the wood has been delivered. They stained the, um, the boards that are gonna be used for the ceiling. So we went with the pine ceiling for the tongue and groove. So this is gonna go in the living room and the um, kitchen. The stain is called natural redwood, but we decided to do the smooth side um, for the ceiling. We got a little bit of work to do today too. We're gonna cut some more wood up. We've still got that huge pile and some trees that had fallen down at the bottom of the property. So we're gonna go, actually go down there today to work. I'd like to be able to get at least this big one right here and then maybe that one and that one done today. I got a feeling it's the moment my life's gonna start I got the feeling when the windows roll down in the car I got the feeling if I wanna fly, I know that I could I got a feeling it's all feeling good I got a feeling it's all feeling good The sun will show the way I know the road to take Alright, one tree down. Check this out. So this stump has been sitting here for quite some time and we just cut into it. And look at this purple moss. That is so cool. I think that's a first for me. I don't think I've seen purple moss before. That one's all done. And now we're gonna work on this one. That'll be our third tree. So I think we'll do that one and call it a day. Whew. We're done. Looks so much better. Check it out. All clear. Three trees. Done. Here's that last tree. See you later. Look at all that snow. 
we just got out to the property to meet with our superintendent and they started tile in the bathrooms yesterday so we have to meet to go over a few things but we are seeing our property for the very first time covered in snow look how much we got it's a dream Okay, here's our soffits. Look at that color, that's beautiful. Wow, they got a lot done already. Oh my gosh, look at all the snow. I'm in heaven. Yeah. Yeah, these guys are supposed to start on Monday. All right, so this is our very complicated floor that's going in our shower room, and I can explain it a little bit better now. So they've started um, doing the mud set pan or mud set floor. Um, so basically, you can't tell, but this is graded just slightly sloped, so everything drains to the center there in the drain. Um, and then they're gonna come in and we're gonna have wood slots laid over the concrete. And then it'll be tiled around here. The tub's gonna sit on here. We'll have to do some tile on the edges here. And the walls will have tile. Good job, Peter. Good call. <laughs> oh my God. They're done. It's so pretty. They started our deck. Hi, Peter. Oh, wow. The niche looks good. These are the little things that Dave geeks out over. I get excited about the design details. He gets excited that all of the screws for the plates are all vertical and lined up perfectly. Well, we had to come do a little clearing today. We've gotten tons of snow over the past few days, so I'm gonna come out here and shovel these parking areas so our crew can get out here this week because they got stuck a couple times last week. So just gonna clear a little area out for them. Mountain winter living. So they got our cabinets um, delivered and installed also last week. So we're about to be seeing those for the first time. And I think our master shower um, is probably mostly tiled. We're about to check that out. But oh, check this out. We've gotten a good six plus inches out here. Um, and then over the week, actually on Friday, our superintendent sent me some photos they took of, uh, I think there was three or four elk that they took pictures of. I'll insert the pictures. They were down there at the bottom and he got those pictures from the deck. So we were really excited to get those photos. Oh, I'm nervous. And then here's our bathroom cabinets. Oh, that color is beautiful. I'm so glad we changed it. <laughs> you can't even see the deck. Our first walk out on the deck. <laughs> that you can't see right now. There's our deck. So mother-in-law went with white cabinets in here and 
They still gotta finish installing that one. And then there's some upper cabinets there. And I think above the fridge, which is going here. Well, that was a lot of work, but I have a whole new appreciation for snow plows. We hand shoveled all this in front of the door, this parking area, all the way up the driveway. Up through there. Got all that done. We shoveled both patios in the back. So yeah, that'll definitely give you a whole new appreciation. So they're here putting lighting up. What is today? December 28th. It's about 15 degrees. We're gonna actually be in negative temperatures this week, but they're installing our light fixtures today. We haven't walked in yet, but I can see our island light through the window. They got our front staircase built. We got the rest of our can lights installed. Oh, how cool. Well, we made it to 2022. It is someday in the first week of January. I'm starting to lose track of my days. Um, but we are now getting into the dreaded part of winter. We knew this was coming. Um, it's been a very, very heavy snowfall winter so far. Um, we had a pretty big storm last night. So we had to come out to the property today to do some more shoveling, but you can see, let me just kind of show you a glimpse here of the driveway. So when you get this really heavy snow um, and then the temperatures warm up, it starts to melt and creates this very nasty slush and then it freezes again and then it turns to ice and it makes it very difficult for our, our crew to get out here. And we've already lost about three weeks just because of the holidays. We've had a couple weather delays. Um, but over the past few weeks, we've lost a lot of progress and had a lot of downtime. So Peter, our towel guy, is actually here today. We didn't think anyone would be here at all this week because we had so much snow. We've got another one of our lights in too, so I'm going to go drop that off in the house so they can get that installed for us. Also, a huge shout out to our neighbors. If you're watching, thank you so much. But we've got some awesome neighbors up here with plows, and they've been also helping us. Um, get all the snow off the driveway and plow for us. So that's been a huge, huge help. Here's a little sneak peek of the guest bath. He finished that tile up and it looks so, so good. We went with the same tile in here as our master bathroom. We've got the first sunshine and blue skies we've had in a while. This is nice. Okay, I wanted to show you the tile now that it's completely finished in our master shower. So. We decided to lay it, um, if you can tell here the grout lines, it's like the third of the way of the length of the tile. And we went with a horizontal pattern. The reason I like it like this is when you line it up um, where each tile is like directly in the middle or in the center of the tile, you get more of a brick pattern, which I did not want. This has a little, just, uh, a little bit more modern look to it. And I love to just how the tile looks, all the veining kind of swoops down that way everywhere. Um, how do y'all like my hat? <laughs> I got this in New Mexico several years ago on one of our camping trips, but it's so warm. <laughs> but I feel like I look like Uncle Eddie. <laughs> I mentioned we had a lot of delays over the last few weeks. It was 
you know, Christmas, New Year's holiday. We've also had a ton of snow. So we've had some weather delays and then we've had some things just still on back order. So this week, it should be a really big week and hopefully we're gonna make up some lost ground. Um, today's a Sunday, so tomorrow, Monday, we should have our cabinet installers coming out to hopefully finish installing those. Um, there was one cabinet that was not right, so they had to reorder that. We're waiting on that, which should be in in a couple weeks, but I think they're gonna go ahead and finish installing at least what's there. And then they should also be installing our floors on Thursday, starting that, possibly sooner, but they said for sure by Thursday they're gonna start installing floors. So those two things are gonna be a huge deal. The cabinets have been the biggest holdup though because there's so many things that can't be done until those are finished. So like the flooring, countertops obviously, backsplash, um, trim. So there's quite a few things. Um, that should start picking up again once we get that done uh hopefully like i said tomorrow um another big thing we're waiting on obviously is siding they still have not started any siding um to be honest i don't know what the holdup is on that i think some materials have been on back order um so i don't know if they're just waiting on everything to come in before they start because we have let's see one two like three different siding materials so maybe they're just waiting on everything to come in together to do it all at the same time. But usually siding is something that is done, I don't know, way earlier um, in the stage than where we're at right now. But anyway, another big thing we're waiting on. Also, just the season that we're in, uh, they're not going to be able to paint that for a while. So it's possible that the house could be completely finished and we're able to move in and our siding still not painted. So they may have to come back and do that later. I'm not sure. We'll just kind of have to see how things play out. But anyway, well, we had a big victory today. All of our hard work of throwing down de-icer and sand and gravel and shoveling and all the things, our driveway cleared enough. And you can see water is finally melting and running down. There is still a lot of ice out here, but we got the driveway cleared off enough where the trucks could get in and get down to the house to deliver our floors today. And they started installing the floors. I've got a box of our hardware um, that we're gonna drop off. They've still not totally installed our cabinets. That's a whole separate issue I will talk about. But I have the hardware here. I actually ended up ordering this from Amazon because, well, one, it was cheaper. And I found some stuff that I really liked for hardware, the right color. We went with like a champagne bronze for the kitchen and black for the bathrooms. But I wanted to order locally and I'm not going to say what name it is of the business. But there is a local shop we tried to get our hardware from. We had an appointment. We went and made all of our selections, picked everything out, followed up with them four different times, and they still never sent us a price. And we are paying for all the hardware out of pocket, so we had asked them to um, send the bid directly to us. Well, reached out four different times, got zero response. And then that we learned they called our superintendent and kind of like chewed him out because we ended up purchasing our hardware from somewhere else. And that was complete BS to us. Like we gave them so many opportunities. We wanted to do business locally and it just didn't work out. So therefore we got our stuff from Amazon and we've had it at our house for the last couple months. So now we are dropping it off and gonna match everything up with the cabinets to make sure we ordered the correct stuff. Give you a little sneak peek here. So here is our kitchen hardware. It's that champagne bronze. This was by a company called Hickory Hardware and they had really, really nice stuff. But I got all Check it out, we have floors. Oh my gosh, I love it. We went with an LVP, which is a luxury vinyl plank. We were originally wanting to do concrete and ended up changing to LVP. One, there was a pretty significant cost savings. But two, um, it just made no sense um, function-wise. Concrete floors are very hard, they're very cold. We live in a cold climate, so it just wasn't practical. Um, 
And I, I love these floors. I'm so, so, so happy we ended up going this route instead. It still kind of has that concrete look. But honestly, I really, really like these better. I'm really liking the transition too between the lighter floor color and then the darker. This is like a really dark charcoal gray, but it's cool because it, this color kind of pulls out the darker colors from the flooring inside the house. All right, so let's talk about cabinets. We have had some issues, so just wanna be real with y'all about the whole process. Um, we ordered our cabinets months and months and months ago. They finally came in in like the middle of December and basically they just dropped them off and did not finish installing. The stuff that they did install, um, just to show you some examples here, we had cabinets come in completely scratched up, like very deep scratches. They've got this cabinet wrong. So we have a big apron sink. So this is the wrong cabinet. They've got to get a new one and that one's not going to be in for a couple more weeks. They were supposed to come out like three different times to finish installing them from like middle of December to now. And it's almost middle of January. And they came out Monday this week and still have not finished installing these cabinets. Like just the quality, um, these drawers don't even open because they stick and you know, it could be an adjustment issue that can be fixed. But the reason I'm bringing this up, just make sure it's right. Like you can see here, these thing, these are two drawers and they're rubbing right here. So you can't even open these drawers. And then you have on the other side, a much bigger gap. So there's just definitely some flaws in here. Um, you know, we've, we've spent good money on these cabinets and we just want them done right. So I'm just kind of looking at everything with a very fine tooth comb. Here's some other areas that they're really dusty right now. They haven't been cleaned, but that are chipped. I mean, there's just a lot of flaws and it's all, it's the whole house. It's our kitchen cabinets, bathroom cabinets. My mother-in-law's apartment um, has tons of other flaws too. We're still waiting on a side panel that's missing on this cabinet. There's just, there's like a long list of things that are not done right. So we've, you know, made note of all these. We've talked to our builder about it. They're you know, they've already been in conversation with the cabinet company, but there's just a lot of flaws. So just be careful. Make sure you look over everything if you're building because they need to get it right. So they're going to have to come back and back and make, you know, repairs or if they can't touch it up and fix it where it's done right, then they're going to have to replace it. Well, we finally got started on exterior siding. We have been waiting on this moment for so long. They did soffits today, but that gives us a nice little preview of what siding is going to look like. The cedar siding anyway. The black strip you see right there, those are air vents, right? Yeah. Yeah, the air vents. We got our interior door replacements in, so we actually got our doors delivered last week and they sent the wrong ones, so we so thankful that these got in pretty quick because, you know, the supply chain is just so messed up right now. Um, we've, we've had many, many challenges with supply issues and things on back order, even though we ordered stuff months and months ago, we've, we've been battling quite a few problems with that, so working on our mantle we got another big day today they started officially siding I know they did soffits yesterday but we actually have siding on the walls so this is one of the siding materials we're doing it's called board and batten and it's gonna be as you can kind of see here this will be board and batten all the way up to this corner and then the corners are gonna be stone that whole uh, wing over there the ALU is gonna be cedar siding and then we're doing cedar here, and then the board and batten will pick up over there again and then have cedar, or excuse me, stone columns. And then at the back is also gonna have um, board and batten around on that side. The back of the sliders will be cedar, and then the ALU again is cedar. And then we'll have a couple walls of stone. And the other thing that he's been working on, this is called Iroka. Um, it's 
basically like a teak wood, similar to a teak wood that's very water resistant and hard. So we, he got that wood in today and has been cutting these strips. So for our master shower, he's gonna be building us a custom floor um, that is, looks like that's about maybe an inch and a half or so wide. And they're gonna be wood slats. So we're gonna have a basically wood floor shower and then there'll be a little bit of about a quarter inch gap or so maybe um, between the boards so the water goes through. And uh, so that's the next project he's working on. Happy Saturday, last Saturday of January. We came out here just to hang out at the property, make a little campfire and just hang out for the day. Sun is shining, it's very nice. And the guys were here working on siding, which we had no clue on, but check out behind me. All right, they got trim and doors knocked out this week. Man, it is crazy how much trim makes such a big difference. Like, it just really, really finishes off the space. Looks amazing. We went with a six inch trim. We decided to do a barn door right here. They've gotta hang the door still, but I'm really, really happy we went this route. It just kind of, I don't know, takes up some space right there and it just gives it something really cool. And then there's our barn door. I think we're actually, um, gonna end up painting all the doors white for now. I know it's a ton of white in here, but we figured we'd just start with white, give us like a fresh canvas, and then we can come back later and paint. But I'm thinking about doing each of the barn doors in a little bit different color. For the toilet room, all that's in here is a toilet. We did a pocket door. We've had some really exciting progress this week. So the project um, that we've been working on for our master shower is almost, or the main part's done, like the hardest part's done. So Goody, which is our foreman, custom built this wood slot floor. I mean, I'm telling you this thing is solid. So they're actually in two pieces, but ooh, it's kind of heavy. Let's see here, show you underneath here. He had to drill all these pocket holes and put these little feet on here. But Okay, battery died, had to switch that out. But um, anyway, what I was saying is this floor is so solid. The precision is absolutely crazy because the whole floor underneath the tile, you know, all has to slope towards the drain, which sits in the middle. And so each cut and board um, on the base of this like platform here had to be you know, cut very, very precise, and the whole floor is completely level. Like, this is where the tub's gonna sit, but everything's very level, and um, I'm not gonna walk on it right now. I did a while ago with my socks on, but it does not bounce or move or rock. It's just, he did such, such, such a good job. And then the other really exciting thing is that they started on the railing for the decks. So they've started back here. So I'm coming out our master right now. Okay, it is February 25th and clearly winter is not finished yet and neither is our house. <laughs> we are, as of today, still waiting on our cabinet replacement pieces and everything's kind of bottlenecking to that um, as I've already explained, but they have pretty much finished our exterior siding. Um, all of the board and batten is done. They have also finished the exterior stone. So here I am in the front and those three columns are done. 
and let me take you around the, the back of the house here to give you a little sneak peek, but looks so good. The cedar's all done. Um, the couple things that are remaining as far as exterior is paint, obviously, and we're still tossing up some different paint choices that we're going to paint the board and batten. Um, they have to also finish one column on the opposite side of the house for stone, and then also the chimney is going to be stone, so we're waiting on that, but um, I am standing underneath the deck of our master, but they got that column or that wall finished with stone, and then also up there by our bedroom is stone. Here's all the cedar here in the back of the house. Oh, and they do still have to paint the uh, soffit, or not soffit, excuse me, fascia boards, and then all the window trim. We are also still waiting on the cables to be strung up on the back deck, and then they haven't done the staircase back here yet. And then they still got to do the, the uh, railing on the front deck. Some of the other things that they've been working on over the last couple weeks is finishing all of the baseboards, which are done and painted. This past week, they got our pantry shelving done, as well as all the closets done. Uh, they also got our hardware installed on all of our doors. And here is our fireplace. We're so, so, so excited to see this. And there's our hearth, it's still drying, but we did the same stone in here as we did outside. Here I am coming into our master closet. So we left a space here in the middle for like a dresser, and then we each got these three shelves. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the video here, and next time you see us, hopefully we'll be moving in and the house will be completely done. Um, and I'll do a walkthrough and show you the entire house finished with all the final little details. This has been such a long journey, I can't even explain. It has been an absolute emotional roller coaster. I, I couldn't even possibly go over every little thing that we've been through with this house, but we're so close. If you've been watching our series, Thank you for coming along this journey with us and all of your comments and um, we appreciate the support. So uh, next time you see us, we'll be in the house.